everything around me inspires me. I, I, you know, I mean, most of the work I do is, is social commentary and text oriented, and it's just the world around me that I, ha I I'm reacting to that. You know, and I want it to be heard. That's really what does it is the need to voice my my what I see and what I what I, what makes me think or what upsets me or what I love. Let's talk about Sam Ofer. That was the work of me and Al Diaz, a guy named the kid named Al Diaz. Me and Jean were actually instrumental in putting together a school newspaper. We both were transfers from other schools. We met at City as a School, which was an alternative high school for, I guess, uh, fairly good students that, had, uh, that were misfits and they couldn't uh, get it together in high school. But you had to have a certain average to get in. Same old was originally like, I guess, African American expression of same old, same old. Like when a guy says, hey, what's up, babe? Oh, same old, same old, this kind of thing. And we loved that. We were really into slang and we, you know, we like, we, we just co opted all this stuff and, we, and it became part of our lexicon. What made you want to collab with the Stasi? Uh, I met these guys and they reached out to me. It was over the winter. They had an event over at a gallery in Chelsea. And they were working with a London based artist. Scooney, who did these relief relief uh, sculptures, I really could relate to the soldier boy that they had. It's, it's kind of self-evident. I think that you know, war is a machine, and it, you know, it's part of the you know the military-industrial complex. I think it's it's business as usual. A response to, to, to living in a world where where war is is simply a, a, a business as usual.